Hey friends, welcome back. I'm so excited to be starting my spring cleaning series here on my channel. We will be going room by room, cleaning from ceiling to floor, every single space in every room of my home. My plan is to do one room per video. Of course, we have our closets and things like that that we will mix into other videos. And as you know, if you've been here for a while, when I focus on one space, the rest of my house seems to fall apart. So I may be throwing in some bonus videos here and there. Make sure you're subscribed with your notifications turned on so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. In those bonus videos, we'll just be catching up the rest of my home while continuing to spring clean room by room on my normal Sunday videos. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Becky. I'm a wife and mom to three little ones, four and under. My son Noah is four, my daughter Hazel is two, and my son Wyatt is nine months old. On my channel, I share tons of motivating and inspiring, encouraging, uplifting content. My goal is to make you have the best day possible while being positive and productive, cleaning your home. I'm a stay-at-home mom or rather work-at-home mom. Sometimes it can get a little challenging with three little ones, but I'm here to tell you that you can do it. Even on your worst day, just getting up and making your bed can feel so good. Whatever is on your to-do list today, I hope my video inspires and motivates you to get up and get moving and if your plan is to just take the day off and do nothing and rest your body and rest your mind I hope my video is satisfying and soothing to you and you enjoy the major transformations and cleaning motivation I want to say a quick thank you to all of you who are already subscribed to my channel and if you are not already subscribed I hope you do and you get tons of motivation and inspiration from today's video while we go through clean declutter and organize my home in this spring cleaning series. When we get to my master bedroom, I will be decluttering and organizing my clothes, discarding and donating as many as possible, and bringing in a couple new items for spring. I'm so excited. I don't just like to bring in new items and keep everything else. I like to get rid of a couple and replace them. I want to say a quick thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. I got a couple cute spring outfits I can't wait to show you in a little bit. As you can see, we're starting the series in my kids' playroom. We had just cleaned decluttered and organized it so now we are going to deep clean this space literally taking out all of the furniture carpet cleaning cleaning the windows washing the walls you name it and I do it in this video <laughs> The room is emptied out. As you can see, I decided not to move this cube organizer because it's just too heavy for me, so it's just gonna stay there for now. It's already almost the end of the night and I didn't get much done today. I figure each room will probably take me about two or three days, so here we are on day one. I'm going to finish up in this space today vacuuming and then tomorrow we're gonna wash all the walls, the trim, carpet clean, even though we just did. My kids spilled pouches and chocolate milk all over the floor. As you can see, it needs it. I'll 
I'll probably end up doing that monthly because it is their playroom and it does get a little bit messier than the rest of the house. I noticed as I was vacuuming, my vacuum wasn't getting all of this stuff that's stuck along the edge here. I'll try to show you here. So you can kind of see there's stuff just along the edge here that, like I said, my vacuum isn't getting. So I went ahead and got my carpet scraper. I got this on Amazon. I want to say it was like six to eight dollars. And it works amazing for stuff like this. I'll just go ahead and show you. So you just scrape it along the edge and it just gets all of that stuck in hair and everything and just that little bit check this out you guys saw how long i just did that for and that is a lot of stuff for such a small area so i'm going to go ahead and do this around the entire room As I mentioned at the beginning of today's video, when we deep clean, declutter, and organize my master bedroom, we will also be going through all of my clothes, discarding and donating as many as possible as well as packing away those that I wore for winter, and take out my spring and summer clothes, which I don't have many of, so I went on thread up and bought a bunch of cute spring items. I can't wait to show you how cute they are and how much money I saved buying secondhand. Thread up is an online consignment and thrift store for your closet, your wallet, 
wallet and the planet. At ThreadUp, they believe in a sustainable fashion future. It's a community of fashion fanatics and planet lovers, all united under a mission to inspire a new generation of shoppers to think secondhand first. So you guys know April is Earth Month and I love my plants. My Monstera is huge. You guys see it in a lot of my videos. Well, did you guys know that buying one used item instead of a new item saves enough water to keep my Monstera plant happy for 29 years? That's insane. Not only do I love the sustainability of ThreadUp and buying secondhand, I also love how much money it saves me. You can see the brand of each clothing item on screen as well as the estimated retail value and the ThreadUp price. With all of these items comparing the estimated retail value and the ThreadUp price, I saved $355. ThreadUp is so easy to shop on too. You can sort by category, style, brand, price, condition, material, literally anything. Most of my items were new with tags and they were marked down significantly. Did you guys see that first one? That romper was $198 estimated retail value and I got it for only $14.83. You seriously cannot beat that. You can get 30% off your first order on ThreadUp with my code Becky. Back to deep cleaning this playroom, I'm going to wash the walls starting on day two. I just tried to shut the closet and broke the door off, so my husband will have to fix that one. <laughs> Pay no attention to the cracked ceiling. My husband was working in the attic and we had a little mishap. Nobody was harmed. He will be fixing it soon. I'll be wiping down all of the trim in the room and the door with just a damp microfiber cloth that I got on Amazon. They work amazing. They're always linked in my description, in my Amazon storefront, in my cleaning essentials.
Moving on to carpet cleaning my kids' playroom, the most effective carpet cleaner I have found to use with my carpet shampooer is my Young Living's Thieves Household Cleaner. You guys know I have tried so many different things and this works amazing. I seriously think it's the best cleaner for your carpet ever. It works better than vinegar. It works better than the carpet cleaner it comes with. I even think it works better than the Folex stain remover. This stuff is seriously amazing and it makes the room smell great. You can sign up to be a customer of Young Living's in my description below. You don't have to spend a bunch of money to be a customer anymore. All you have to do is sign up to be a customer, add whatever you want to your subscriptions, check out, and you can take everything out of your subscriptions at that point. You don't have to purchase anything else unless, of course, you want to because their products are amazing. And as always, if you end up spending $100 or more, you get a special gift from me as a thank you for starting your wellness journey here with me. It's so much fun having you guys on my team who are already on my team. I hope you love the gifts that I've sent you already and I look forward to sending you guys more and so happy to be a part of your wellness journey. We are finally done carpet shampooing this room. We are moving on to this disgusting windowsill. Oh my goodness, the bugs, the dirt, everything. I honestly did not know that you could take the windows out like this until last year somebody commented on one of my videos. I asked, how do I clean the other side of these windows? And somebody told me you could literally just pull them out like this. I had no idea, so thank you to that person for teaching me how to do this. First, I will be vacuuming out all of the loose bugs and dirt in this windowsill. Then I will be taking my Bissell steam shot and steaming this area, wiping it down and making it nice and clean before we put the windows back in.
The windows are back in, the carpet is dry, I wanted to vacuum it one more time before bringing the furniture back in, then we'll be wiping down all of the furniture and calling this room completely cleaned, decluttered, and organized. We're going to stop here for right now. I actually ordered an eight cube organizer instead of the six cube organizer. We obviously have more books than we do space right here, but that doesn't get here until Saturday. So we're going to take a little break in this room and when it gets here, we'll come back in here and rearrange a bit. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope it gave you so much motivation to start spring cleaning your home. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Also, don't forget you can get 30% off your first order on ThreadUp with my code Becky. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.